Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. It's right before I pushed the go live button, I had to, <coughs> excuse me, sneeze. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So I'll take this opportunity. I was holding it until and I, well, it's out. <laughs> okay, so this is the Earth Signs energy reading elements on the road that I can't get on the road, and I'm going to keep that uh, that that name anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, it might be a good sign this is, <laughs> and so um, I'll uh, I have it. I sprained my ankle two days ago. I'm hopping around in my house, and I have to stay put for at least ten days and that's that. So here I am. It's a pleasure. With pleasure, I'm going to do the energy reading for you. And what do I have here for you? I'm going to use this. Um, let me see. Where I, where can I put it best? I think here would be best. This is going to be a, um, a chore. And my camera is just... Oh, all right. So now... If you can see it, you, there you go. There's the Feldstar, ladies and gentlemen, and um, Taurus. Taurus, look, I I see you as being on the go, on the go for the month of uh, uh, January. Your your energy is very high. You you want to. Um, uh, they say in Italian, you know, bruciare le tappe. They, you, you know, you're burning, burning energy because you have an agenda. And it seems that you want to get fit mentally. Most of all, get fit mentally and physically, but most of all mentally. And you're doing it. You're going. But you also, I have to say, you're not wasting time and having a, a, a really enjoyment. You're enjoying yourself. And um, this is what you like the best. You like to be able to be out and about and really feel that you're treating yourself and you treat yourself. It seems that the more you, the more you, um, practice, the more you exercise, the more you think about getting in fit, the more you want to party. Hi there. Hi, Connie. Hi, Anna. Um, and what's really, really uh, great for me to see, um, uh, Taurus, is that the love is all around you. And it's you're like a magnet. You know, it's everything is coming to you. It's just coming to you. Um, you smile and you get all of these uh, people, you know, practically at your feet, looking at you, wishing that you, you, they could be you, you know, because you have this light quality about you. You have um, light around you and it's very visible. It's very uh, clear and very, very pleasant to be around. Now, this gives way towards the end of the month, um, energetically, Taurus, to a period where the frowns start coming in, you know, your your the lines increases in your forehead become more pronounced because, like the horns of the bull, you know, you start putting your head down because you think now it's time for me to study. Many of you will be uh, in that modality because you do indeed have to study. You do indeed have to um, prepare for some kind of test or some kind of contest or some kind of project that is supposed to win above other projects. And so uh, it seems that you your lightened load during the month becomes more concentrated in um, towards the end of the month. And you seem to put your thinking cap on, um, 
not only your thinking cap, you dress to the occasion, you seem to want to study in a certain fashion. It'll be a white shirt and a tie. It will be a silk skirt, dark, uh, uh, silk blouse, dark skirt. You will be very, um, you know, conscious of how you dress for the part and how you whatever you put on yourself and the makeup and the uh, jewelry will speak of you and everything you do will be itemized, measured specifically for a certain effect. Good for you, Taurus. Now let's go to uh, Capricorn, 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 my friends, Capricorn. I've got here a... Um, crystal quartz and this I got in a caves in Pennsylvania. I can't remember for the life of me. It's on the border between um, Pennsylvania and uh, very close to New Jersey and might, maybe might even be called crystal caves. And I went with a friend of mine that day. Um, your um, we were there together and, and looking for stones and I picked this up and she said, oh my God, how beautiful. It reminds me of a wedding dress, which I thought was funny because it actually does uh, look like there's the um, lace, you know, uh, and, and uh, sparkling and clear and layers. And there's a lot of layers here. Look, um, Capricorn. I have a lot of layers here for you. I remember the January, the beginning of the month reading for you. And I remember also that you, you've had plans, you have plans, and they're never going fast enough. Um, this is this case. The energy is the same. I'm feeling that. But what when there are two speeds as if there's an outside speed that everyone sees and the results of that everyone can can um, evaluate. But the, underli the underlying, um, what is under here, all the water, all the emotions, all the plans that no one sees is what will propel you forward, is exactly how you're going to be moving forward. You have big plans, and I mean big plans. And the energy is uh, of someone who is very forward-looking. Your eyes are peering out, and you look at the world through a very concentrated gaze with piercing beams of light. You almost make people afraid of how concentrated you are and how um, serious your intentions are because you are one serious lady and gentleman this month. You are serious in the sense of, um, this is Capricorn, the last of the, um, no, I'm sorry, there's the second, this is not the last, this is the second uh, earth sign. So after Taurus, we're in Capricorn now. You are so serious, but the seriousness, not that makes you sad or not that makes you um, uh, um, unpleasant to be in because you have your fair shares of <laughs> and drinking and laughing and eating, you know, with friends. It's not that. But when you get down to business, the energy around you is businesslike. There's no bones about it. There's no messing around. You are serious. Now look, um, Capricorn, I'm feeling that you're getting to a place where you're refining. You continue to refine what your vision of the world for you will be this year. And every day that goes by, every minute that goes by, every waking moment of the day seems to hone that vision. And um, you're not going to let it go. You're extremely intent on finding, you know, it's, it's as if you're, you have a bow and arrow and you're an archer and you're aiming for the bullseye. It will be a bullseye. Um, 
And you will make your mark. You will make your mark. It may take you time, Cancer. Uh, sorry, Capricorn. It may take you time, Capricorn. But it looks like this month of January is where all and most of the planning takes place. Like I said, you are serious, but you are very gregarious, outgoing, and, you know, drinking and eating with friends, and come on, let's go. And, you know, um, it looks like that you have, like I said in the beginning, when I started to talk about Capricorn, you are very dynamically forward-looking because you know, you know that your thoughts are here, but your expectations are way, way up here. And where you're going is far, far out there. And you will be taking everyone with you when you're out there. But before you get there, you're not going to let anyone know the entire picture of those plans. So there's a private Capricorn and a very public Capricorn. One is very concentrated and one is gregarious, having a good time, flaunting himself or herself and, and showing off. But then when it's business, it is business Capricorn. Good for you. Now we're going to the last earth sign which is, which is, which is, that was Capricorn. Okay, so I went Taurus, Capricorn, I'm missing an earth sign. What is the earth sign? Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, I inverted. Taurus, Capricorn, come on, ladies and gentlemen, help me. I have a blank spot. I've got a blank spot. So uh, there's Taurus. Uh, Gemini, Cancer, Le Virgo, my God, Virgo, this is Virgo, yes, Virgo, and I'm sorry to have uh, made you wait, Virgo, you jumped, you jumped ahead, <laughs> because the dynamic forward-looking Capricorn was put, you know, elbowing, and they got in front of you, so this is Virgo, this reading is for Virgo, I have here a, um, a um, rose quartz, the rose quartz. I want to get it in the middle of the camera here so you can see the rose quartz. Look at this. This was a, a stone that was given me uh, by a, um, a subscriber who I met in Rome. She came to Rome with two of her children and she brought me this as a gift along with uh, some uh, lovely other gifts. And I will thank her forever. And if you're there, thank you once again. Um, now, we know that Rose Quartz talks of the heart. Now, I have to say that even if it does talk of the heart, um, Virgo, what it does talk about for you is I, and this is what you're thinking, and this is what your energy tells you, I am light. I am energy. I am beautiful. I am divine. This is like a mantra that you have all month. The energy of Om, the energy of yes, the energy of we shall overcome someday. You know, that very, very powerful thought pattern that comes around you. And, um, what I like about this, that it's full of warmth, these uh, these chants, this energy of a chant that follows you, because this is the kind of activity, the energy that is going to pull you over the top by the end of the year, by the end of the month, Virgo. It looks as though you're moving forward with this own quality and yes we will make it because you're you're an indian dancing in a field naked bringing forward 
all of the wild spirits that fought, that are around you and that will help you get over the top to achieve your goals. You're making it a, 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 a mission this month to get what you want. There's something very witch-like in your, um, your energy, very witch-like, and I say that in a very positive sense. The cauldron is full of elements and ingredients that will get you to the top because that's where you are going. That's where you are going, Virgo, over the top. Wow. I hope every, I hope this was of help to you guys, Earth Signs. And I appreciate you supporting me. And I really, really am so hap happy that you were able to join me live. I'm going to look and now read the, the comments. And until we read together again, I'll be coming up with the rest of January. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen.